Holy Gospel of our Savior Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Christ. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came forward to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. And he said to them, What is it you want me to do for you? And they said to him, Grant us to sit, one at your right hand and one at your left, in your glory. But Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink, or be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They replied, We are able. And Jesus said to them, The cup that I drink you will drink, and with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or at my left is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they began to be angry with James and John. So Jesus called them and said to them, You know that, you know that among the Gentiles, those whom they recognize as their rulers lord it over them. And their great ones are tyrants over them, but it is not so among you. But whoever wishes to become great among you must be your servant. And whoever wishes to be first among you must be slave of all. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. diocesan convention which took place this weekend it was actually yesterday morning for the business session each year we ask that our delegates somehow relate to you uh, their impressions and, and uh, some understanding of, of what happened with uh, diocesan convention so today Joe Molino is here to uh, as, who served as a delegate uh, to tell you about diocesan convention uh, Joe was a delegate. He is also your senior warden and member of your vestry. Joe? Good morning. Good morning. It was an honor for me to represent Iona Hope Episcopal Church as a delegate to the 53rd uh, Diocesan Convention, along with Father Ray, Mother Susie, Kathy Hart, Allison Kinch, and Paula Pouquet, which was held yesterday at Day Springs in Parrish, Florida. The convention, hosted by Bishop Dabney Smith, was held via Zoom due to the current pandemic, which we're all aware of. The theme of this convention was, See, I Make All Things New. In attendance via Zoom were 71 parishes represented by 217 delegates. Bishop Smith reflected on the last 14 years since becoming the Bishop of the Diocesan of Southwest Florida. Some highlights was the forming of the Diocesan Vision Statement in 2009, the Day Spring Steering Committee in 2010, and the celebration in 2011 of Iona Hope Episcopal Church becoming a parish which I'm sure many of you uh, were here for that and remember it. It was a great celebration. Along with many other accomplishments through the years, including the 50th anniversary of the Diocesan of Southwest Florida, at which Bishop Michael Curry presided. As many of you are aware, 
Bishop Smith will be retiring, and a search committee has been formed and is currently underway to find the new bishop. An announcement of the bishop will be made sometime during 2022. During Bishop Smith's address, he asked the question, how do you live your Christian faith in the world, and if you were put on trial for being a Christian, how much evidence would you have? Certainly something for all of us to ponder. Day Springs in Parish, Florida continues to grow and flourish after being closed during 2020 due to the pandemic. Day Springs restarted their summer camp program uh, this past summer and asked the campers to submit their design for artwork, which would be the cover for this year's convention booklet. The result was this was the front, and this was all done by campers, and this was the back. And from what I understand, the kids all had a wonderful time uh, participating in that and putting in their drawings. During announcements and appointments, it was announced that Father Ray from Iona Help Episcopal Church was confirmed for a term of two years as deanery representative to the Diocesan Council for Fort Myers. It was also announced that Canon Ann Vickers, CFO, would be resigning at the end of the year to spend some leisure time with her husband now that they are empty nesters. And believe me, she will surely be, be missed by all. We also welcome a new church to the convention, the Church of the Apostles in Parish, Florida, which was established within the diocese just recently. Uh, it started out with 12 people, uh, similar to, I guess, what started here when uh, we first uh, decided that we were going to open a church. The meeting continued with the reporting of the current finances and the budget for 2022, which was approved unanimously. Episcopal Charities Grant Awards for 2021 totaled $43,127 to 15 charities representing 15 parishes. The meeting concluded with a closing prayer by Bishop Smith and an announcement that the 54th Annual Convention would take place on October the 14th and 15th, 2022, hopefully at the Convention Center in Punta Gorda. It was an excellent convention, and I encourage anybody to be interested uh, to think about it. Thank you.